In today's video, we're going to be making one of my favorite dishes, peri peri chicken. Peri peri chicken is a Portuguese dish. It's a dish I've been eating since as long as I can remember. Uh, it's very versatile, very easy to make, and you can cook it inside the oven, you can grill it on the stove, or my favorite way is doing it out on the barbecue. So these are the things you're gonna need. We have oil, we have salt, we have lemon juice, garlic, and thyme. And then of course, peri peri peppers. So these are from my garden. I dried them, these are from last year's harvest. So first things first, I'm going to make the actual sauce or the marinade that's gonna go on the chicken itself. We need a jug, we need a stick blender, and of course these ingredients that I have over here. And we give that a blend. So what you'll notice is it's gone quite a weird texture. So all that we've done here is we've made just a bit of mayonnaise. With the lemon juice and the amount of oil that we have, we're able to make this lovely paste. So when you're basting the chicken, it's a lot easier. It stays on the chicken itself. Uh, you'll see when we apply it to the chicken and it just does a brilliant job. So I'm gonna put that aside for now and we're going to prepare the chicken. So now that we've made the marinade for the chicken, it's time to actually prepare the chicken itself. I like to spatchcock my chicken. You don't have to do that, but it really makes a big difference, especially if you're gonna be doing this on the barbecue. It makes it a heck of a lot easier to cook. You can cook the whole chicken like it is here if you want. You're gonna have a few challenges with getting the marinade to stick to this, but we are going to spatchcock it and you'll see that it's a lot better way to do it. So when you're spatchcocking a chicken, there are other YouTube videos out there showing you how to do this. I'm gonna show you the way I do it. It really is very simple. So you just wanna get the legs all out. You wanna get everything nice and open. So what we wanna do when we spatchcock, so there's your, the breasts of the chicken is over here. What you want to do is along the back of the chicken, you want to cut along the spine. So it's quite easy to do. So the first thing I want to do is just get a bit of a cut down there, a bit of a cut down there, just so I know where I'm cutting. The spine is over there. So I'm pulling that apart and sharp knife is always best, but you're going to need to put a little bit of force into it because you are cutting through bone. Now, this is where it gets a bit more difficult. At this point here, what I'm doing is just, I'm pulling it open, I'm pushing it down. Pushing it down hard through there, and we get right through that. We can see the, there's quite a bit of bone over here, so it, it does take a little bit of force. So we can see again, I'm just holding that up. It just helps because if you let that go, then it just all flattens out. But if you hold that up, makes it a lot easier and there you go. We're almost there. One last thing to do here. You wanna just pull that open, break it open a bit. There's a, uh, I guess a breastplate over here, a bit of cartilage down there. First thing, just cut along the cartilage. Okay. Now, once you've cut through the cartilage, you need to crack through this because you want to take this bone out, this over here. So, just a quick snip, just on the outside. You're putting quite a bit of force. Just be careful your fingers. Do the same thing on the other side. And there we go. You've got a few options here. You can just pry it away like, the, like I'm doing here, or if you want, you can use the knife to do it, but it's pretty easy. Once you get 
this going once that is there you just hold that down and pull that back and you've taken that out the chicken is now nicely spatchcocked it's going to cook more evenly and it's going to be just perfect whether it's in the barbecue or inside the oven you're going to prepare it exactly the same way you can just put the marinade on to the chicken now but the better way to do it is just poke a few holes into the meat and when you apply the marinade it's going to get absorbed a bit better do the back side first so just pour a little bit on there and we can see it is nice and thick be careful because this can burn your fingers so if you have sensitive skin then make sure you wear gloves when you do this bit you're just going to massage it into the meat turn it over and do the same thing on the other side and there you go so this one is done we're going to do the next one now which is exactly the same there we go we have two peri peri chickens ready to go into the oven so like I said inside my preferred way of cooking these is on the barbecue it just gives it a really great flavor you can do this in the oven if you are going to do it in the oven it's at 180 degrees Celsius for about 50 minutes so five zero minutes uh, that's per chicken that's a small to medium chicken if it's a large chicken then I'll do it for an hour I'm just warming up the barbecue so I can clean off the grid and get the heat right so it's always a good idea to give it a good clean. You whack this on as high as you can and you can burn off as much of the grease and any leftover stuff from the last time you barbecued. So it's always a good idea to give it a bit of a wipe with uh, half an onion or something. Um, it just helps keep the grid nice and clean so when you do put the meat on, it's not gonna get all the black marks on it. And now it's time to put the chicken on the barbecue. That smells amazing. So we're just going to close it up for a little while and we'll come back to check on it shortly. So it's been about 25 minutes now and it's time to turn the chicken over. So you don't want to have the skin facing down for too long because it will burn. There's a lot of fat on the skin, of course, which is why you can see a lot of smoke. Uh, it's creating a lot of flames. So just you want to flip it over just for a little bit. Just get it to get a bit of a grill on on the skin side. And then we're going to flip it back and finish off the cooking with it facing upwards. So now it's time, we're just gonna flip it back over. So another 25 minutes or so in there and the chicken will be done. It's been about 50 minutes now, so it's time to check on the chicken. It should be done. An easy way to check is you can just cut down to the bone where the meat touches the bone. Make sure that it's not red on the bone. So you can see that one is perfectly done and it's time to take these off. You don't want to overcook it because you don't want it to go dry. So after about the 45 minute mark, you want to start testing it like this. The time to take this off. So there you go, that's some peri peri chicken. Uh, very easy to do. Like I said, it's something I do every couple of weeks. If you do want it a bit spicier, of course you can add some other peppers, something a bit hotter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye for now.